All right, as we all know that September is Heritage Month, where uh, we as South Africa come together to celebrate our diverse cultures. Renowned artist Umam Estamashangu from the Ndebele Nation is known for her bold, large paintings that reference the Isindebele culture. With a global career spanning close to five decades, Mashangu was the first person to transfer the traditional Ndebele style of mural painting to canvas with her work being exhibited globally. We were expecting Umam Esther here in studio for us, but unfortunately, um, she has apologized because she feels a little bit tired and a little jet, um, jet lagged after landing from New York um, last night. That was a 15 hour flight, so you can imagine at the age of 81 how she feels. But nonetheless, Executive Mayor of the Steve Chuete Municipality, Mike Masina, is here to represent Umam Esther. Thank you so much for coming through. Good morning. Morning, morning, Balisa. Thank, thank you very much. Thank for you so me. much. How is Mama feeling? Mm. Yeah, I, like we indicated, I think uh, she's jet lagged. Uh, 15 hour travel is mm. not a child's play. Yeah, and most at the age, age of 81. Yes, indeed. Yeah, yes, indeed. Yeah. 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 But all the same, we are here, you mm. know, to represent mm. her because uh, she's a cultural icon and uh, born and bred in Middleburg, of yeah. course, our municipal area. But above all, I think she's excited with what happened in, in New York. I mean, a mural being ed uh, dedicated to her. Indeed, and uh, she deserves it. I think uh, she has exported, you know, this culture, you know, to the entire world. And mm. uh, I think uh, we are very much proud of her, yeah. not only as the municipality, but as the entire country. Yeah, no, yes. she's a global icon. Absolutely. Very proud of her, you say. That is why the Steve Shetty municipality decided to make Umam uh, Esther Mashang an ambassador for heritage. Indeed, uh, we are looking forward to have uh, a great day, you know, on Thursday, the 21st. Uh, she's still going to be with us. We are going to take this uh, big, uh, you know, heritage march, if I may mm. put it that way. Uh, it will be commencing at 9 o'clock uh, at Steve Jote local municipality buildings. And then from there, we will march to O.R. Dambo Park. And um, of course, from O.R. Dambo back to Keltaria Stadium. Mm. But uh, the significance of uh, taking the march to O.R. Dambo Park, remember, we are celebrating the centenary of Oliver Reginald Dambo yeah. this year, known as the year of Oliver Dambo. So we are paying tribute uh, to the work that uh, was done by the longest serving president of the African National Congress, right. the icon mm. of the entire world when it comes to struggle for human rights and equality. Yeah, and by using Umam Esther, what are you hoping to achieve? Because, I mean, we've, we've seen what is currently happening, that young people are sort of shifting and drifting away from their heritage and culture. Indeed, that is the reason why actually we are looking forward to have a very good attendance, uh, particularly from young people, because uh, Mom Esther has demonstrated, you know, how far uh, culture can go, how far, uh, you know, um, the heritage can go. So it is important that um, we encourage young people. They must know that uh, our identity, um, what we are, it is something that uh, we must be proud of and uh, it is something that um, we must at all times uh, demonstrate because uh, young people stand to benefit. I mean, mm -hmm. Esther is 81 already, yeah. you know, so it is important that, uh, you know, they emulate her mm. so that um, they can continue with the good work that she's doing and uh, luckily uh, she's still alive you yeah. know and uh, she's strong she still has many more to live and yeah. we believe that uh, we are going to benefit immensely uh, yeah from I, I, I wanted to say so that uh, of course this shouldn't just happen for heritage day and heritage month it should be sort of an a, a continuous education drive to transfer what umam esther know to to the younger generation very much very much so uh, palisa uh, you know it must be a way of life yeah yeah because uh, in this day and age when we talk about the uh, radical economic transformation we must also know that our identity mm. you know what we are what we must be proud of 
is um, uh, wealth, uh, yeah. something that uh, we must nurture, something that uh, we must transfer and be proud of. Mm -hmm. So I think Mam Esther has demonstrated, you know, how far we can go with this. All right. So the event on the 21st, next week, Thursday. The event, yes, uh, no, is, uh, it's tomorrow. is tomorrow. It's tomorrow, yes, yes, it's yes, tomorrow yes. indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully she would be better by then. But thank you so much yeah. for coming through. And Dr. Masina, we appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much indeed. Thank you very much. My pleasure. We're well, looking forward to a very great event. Thank you so much indeed. Well, um, there you have it. That's uh, Mike Masina, Executive Mayor of Steve Chueti Municipality from William Popo, talking to us about their heritage event where Umam Esther Mashangu would be the icon of the day. Well, it's 20 minutes after 8 o'clock. It's time for um, your sports update. And Valen is standing by. Valen, it looks like it's not that Mnyama after all for Ezim Mnyama and Gun. It looks like we, we're starting on the right foot this season. Thank you very much, Pelesa. Some are calling it the